Your day at a marine park went terribly wrong. You got so excited that you didn't watch your step and fell into a tank filled with 9-meter killer whales. Now one's dragging you to the bottom of the tank, and you're about to discover why even great white sharks are afraid of them. Here's how to survive a killer whale. Orcas, also known as killer whales, are enormous animals. The largest orca on record was 9.8 meters long and weighed 10 tons. Once these tremendous hunters see their prey, it's game on. Their sharp teeth can pierce through seals, giant squids, and great white sharks. Captive killer whales can be even more dangerous. The stress of being held in such small pools can trigger extremely hostile behavior towards humans. Tilicum, a male whale, was caught in the wild at two years old and eventually sold to SeaWorld. He had a psychosis that made him aggressive and killed three people during his life at SeaWorld. Why shouldn't you take your dog on a boat? How could having short hair save your life? Why is an orca even more dangerous after it dies? Step 1. Just say no. Orcas are particularly intelligent creatures. In captivity, they observe human behaviors and responses. They learn which actions result in native human responses and avoid repeating them in future interactions. They'll bite you harder than usual and see how you react. It is important to respond clearly and firmly. Establish your boundaries with the whale. Let it know if a behavior isn't okay and you just might get spared. Step 2. Cut your hair. In 2010, Don Brashow was a highly experienced trainer of killer whales, but she was one of Tillicum's victims. While she was giving a talk to a group of visitors, Tillicum leaped out of the water, grabbed her with his jaws, and dragged the trainer underwater. Brashow had particularly long hair, as she had been growing it to help make wigs for cancer patients. Unfortunately, her long hair became a toy for the killer whale. He kept pulling on it and dragged her to the bottom of the pool until she drowned. Step 3. Turn off the motor. In the wild, orcas have attacked boats. In September 2021, a rogue orca appeared to be targeting fishing boats off the coast of Spain and Portugal. More than 40 incidents were reported to the authorities. David Smith, a skipper on one boat, thought that dolphins were following them. But when he felt the animals ram the underside of the yacht, he realized they were dealing with something bigger. It was a group of about seven killer whales attacking the boat. The yacht was about 13.7 meters long. Smith saw one whale disappear under the vessel, then the crew heard a thumping noise from the hull. Smith feared the boat would suffer a damaged rudder. Eventually, they turned off the motor to seem less interesting to the orcas. That made the marine hunters give up. Step 4. Avoid Dead Whales Killer whales can be just as deadly after they die. If you're enjoying a walk on a beach and see a dead whale washed up on the shore, you might want to investigate it. But that might be the worst and last idea you'd ever have. When bacteria break down, it can make gases that build up inside the whale's body. And if something punctures that body, the gases can cause it to explode. Step 5. Leave your dog at home. When taking a boat trip on the sea, it might be best to leave your pet at home. If you do bring it, keep it quiet. A dog's barking can trigger an orca's instinct to hunt, as they can confuse the sound with the calls of one of their favorite food, seals. I'm impressed. You just survived a killer whale. Hopefully you'll be more careful of where you go swimming, or you could end up inside a whale. Would you know how to get out alive? Find out here on how to survive.